question from Doug in Mobile. Who will win another title first, Bama or Ohio State? You talk about a no-win answer for me here. Alabama is my answer, and it's because I have seen Nick Saban win a national championship as a head coach, and I haven't seen Ryan Day do it, and that's the long and short of it. Bama's recruited a little better. they got a little better track record. I fully believe in Ohio State, but the problem is I, have, I just have proof of performance with Nick Saban. It's really that simple. Um, I don't doubt Ohio State now, so I'm going to ride the fence as hard as I can here, but even I'm going to have trouble balancing. The, the, the thing that this makes me think about is this conversation that we are training headlong towards. I've already heard it pop up with both of them, and I've mentioned it with Ohio State, but here's what the conversation sounds like. Stop me if you've heard this already. Stop yourself if you've said it already. Something like this. Boy, if Bama doesn't win a title in 2023, that Saban run may be over. Can you imagine how insane that is? Boy, if Ohio State doesn't win at all in 2023, that run may be over. Now, with Ohio State, it sounds a little different. That's why I'm almost kind of going to reserve it and compartmentalize it and talk about it in a second. Because with Ohio State, you may be saying, if they don't beat Michigan again, or if they don't win the Big Ten. But with Bama, let me tell you exactly what will happen if Alabama doesn't win a national title in 2023. They'll be right back in the mix in 2024. The end. If they don't win one this year, what will have happened is they just didn't win a title this year. It's, it's this insane standard that no one else is held to. No one. Ohio State has won one championship in some of your lifetimes. They won one in the early 2000s. Some of you aren't even old enough to remember it. So they won it in 2014. They haven't won another one. And Ohio State, rightly, is viewed as one of the premier programs in the sport. Think about Clemson. Clemson won a title in 2016 on what some would call an illegal pick play with one second to go. I was right there on the field in Tampa, Florida. Uh, they, they blew Bama out in 2018. So, so they won one on the last second. They won another one convincingly. Uh, th they, they're not there every year. Like, who's saying this? People who are saying it are people who have allowed their subconscious to morph into holding Alabama to an Alabama standard instead of just a regular college football standard. By college football standards, Bama's still at the top of the heap. And if you want to argue with me, Georgia is. You want to argue with me, someone else, Bama's right there near the top of the heap. Whatever. Semantics. So that's the Saban piece of it. With Ohio State, a little bit different tenor because of how the last two Michigan games have ended. I think nationally, most folks remember the last thing they saw, and that was Ohio State's kicker missing a field goal that would have sent them to the national championship game. I think Ohio State fans probably remember the Michigan game more so than that. And I think in time, that's what the nation will remember. I don't blame you. I've been at the last two Ohio State-Michigan games, somber as somber could be, around that Buckeye team, around that Buckeye program. And unlike two years ago, when they went into Ann Arbor, and as I've said before, it was just a perfect confluence of events where you could explain it away as we just we weren't the better team today. We came up here. We played in the snow. They wanted it more. Their backs were against the wall. They were in wounded animal mode. However you wanted to explain it to yourself, it's understandable if you viewed that 2021 game like that. But the 2022 blow was a whole lot harsher. The, the, the 2021, that was a gut punch. 2022 was like an uppercut that caught you square on the jaw and you fly up in the air and flat back bump on the ground and you see stars. You're just looking at the ceiling. Wondering what happened. You get them in Ohio Stadium. You've, you've got everybody that you need there. You've recruited better than them. You have got picture-perfect weather. Remember early in the week, the weather forecast looked bleak. And then all of a sudden, it's in the 50s. It's sunny. It, you've got that fast track. Everything setting up for Ohio State to atone for what happened last year. Because that's all the entire year had revolved around. And they held Michigan like one yard rushing per, per rush offensively in the first half. And Michigan still runs away in the second half. That no one expected. That no one could explain. There was no excuse for it. It's just you're totally confused. And I told you the story the other day about what it was like being in the stadium after it had emptied out. We were doing our postgame stuff. And some of those players came back down the tunnel after they were leaving to go back to their dorms. Just, man, it was oof. 
I don't like seeing that stuff. So they were just sitting in the stands. Seniors, never going to play again, never going to wear that uniform again. So if Ryan Day doesn't get it done this year and they don't beat Michigan again this year, I'm not one that's ever going to sit here and say the guy should lose his job because of that, but I'm not an Ohio State fan. I, it's not my program. It's your program. And so if you feel that way, I know what your argument is. Your argument is it doesn't matter how many wins we get against Indiana. It doesn't matter how many times we beat Maryland or Purdue. You're here to beat Michigan, win the Big Ten, and compete for national championships. And if he's 0 for 3 in the last three years doing that and has never checked all the boxes a single time, how do we know he was who we thought he was? I, it's not the craziest bit of logic in the world. I think it's a standard that's a little bit too high, but I understand the retort to that. This is Ohio State. You don't need to be here if you don't understand high standards. So I, you see, I, could, I don't need anyone else in here. I can just debate myself, hold both sides of the debate, and be totally fine with it. My answer is Alabama. I think Alabama probably statistically stands a better chance of winning one before Ohio State, but Ohio State's got a little bit bigger fish to fry before they're talking about a national championship, whereas Bama, it's just Georgia in the title, Georgia in the title. And is that, is that our friends down in Baton Rouge saying, what about us? Is that our friends in Knoxville saying, what about us? Oh, we're only like eight months away. Isn't it great? Thanks for watching, guys. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Make sure you like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Not just for me. That's how we keep this entire thing free.